today I'm going to be doing an unboxing, a quick overview of the Jorushi hot water boiler. And this one is model CDJWC40. Now, this one's a newer model that just came out a few months ago in 2016. So, um, you know, I decided to get it. And the reason why I got it is I actually had an older model, this guy right here. And this one, I don't know the exact model number of this one, but um, A, it's made in China, right? Well, this guy's made in Japan. And I had this for a few years and it started rusting recently. So I knew I wanted to get another one. So I did some research and went to my local Japanese market and I bought it, but you can also find the same one on Amazon. Um, I, I, I'll put the links below under this video. But um, they actually come in different model numbers. But the most important thing you gotta know is it's gotta be make sure you get the ones made in Japan, right? And I think the number just means like how many liters it is. But this JWC series is the newest one. And I think what's new about it is it has some like direct quick temp mode where it will won't bring the water all the way to a boil, especially if you're using filter water, because if water's clean and ready, so it'll only bring it up to like a slightly high, higher temperature. It's under boiling like 175, 195, or 208. I think that's what the most, uh, the difference is. But um, anyway, I'll drop the links below with all the different model numbers and all different model numbers that are made in Japan, right? And that I would have gotten. But um, I was in a rush, so I just got this at my local Japanese market. Anyways, here's the box. And, you know, just not much information a lot of pictures you know uh you want to get this if you're really into like tea or if you're into like drip coffee these days and what's really cool is they also have um i think it was a setting here that it does like a slow slower drip so it doesn't come out as fast as it regularly does when you hit dispense but it'll come down slower so that's perfect for like you know if you want to do like the whole like coffee Pour, pour over coffee stuff right now. It's really popular in the US and abroad, I think. And here's a view of the front of the box, the top of the box, I mean, and a view of the bottom of the box. Nothing fancy, right? But um, yeah, let's get to it and I'll show you guys what's inside the box. So there's no tape, so no need to do no unknifing on this video. So simply opening up this, this flap and this flap and let's see what's inside guys all right once you open it you got your power cord and it's magnetic so it de detaches easily and for safety purposes i think so i'll put that aside and inside it takes this out you got your instruction booklet so you know you can read about this but um i'm pretty sure it's pretty self-explanatory and you also have it in, I think it's like Chinese, Korean, Japanese, and some other language, I don't know. I think Thai. Anyways, so these are the books. And then here's the unit itself. So let's take it out. So nicely wrapped. And really easy, just one piece. I don't think there's any assembly. So let's take a get the box with the box for now. And here is the hot oil boiler. So you can see it also swivels. There's a base that swivels. And if you look, this is the top of the unit. And you have your dispense, your dispense, your unlock, reboil, your temp set, and your timer. And it's pretty light, and it's actually like aluminum, some kind of metal here. So pretty nice, especially compared to um, the previous model right there that I got. And this one is made in Japan. So I want to emphasize, guys, make sure you get the made in Japan one, all right? And you can open this up, and you can see inside. I'll show you guys the inside. But it's made out of stainless steel and it's coated. And there's also a filter 
on the bottom for any sediments you might have. But make sure you guys use like filtered water. Uh, and I recommend the Berkey water filtration system, which I actually have a video of which I never uploaded yet. But I will upload it and I'll link it up in this video once I'm done with it. But uh, yeah, that's it. Basically, main Japan and uh, has three, three temperature settings and had, you know, this is a totally new model. So not many reviews out there, but uh, I'm going to set this up and let you guys know what I think about it. But um, yeah, that's mostly it. I mean, this is just a quick unboxing to show you guys and I'll do, uh, you know, again, I'll put the links below and I'll let you guys know what I think about it. But uh, yeah, I definitely want to get this guy set up because I haven't had hot water for my water boiler in a long time and I love drinking tea. So this is great for tea. And especially if you guys like green tea, you know, 175 is, you know, pretty good temperature for, for green tea, depending on what type. So hey guys, I actually filled it up with some water right now and I want to just show you guys, you know, how it works. But basically I fill it up almost more than halfway and I'm gonna pour the rest of this water in to fill it up, I hope. And again, this one is the four liter model. It also comes in the three liter model. And I got the four liter model basically because that's the only one they had in stock. But the three liter model, I think it's just like maybe about this, this much shorter, so about this high. But uh, again, I can fill it up with water. And after that, you can just close the lid but uh, I want to show you something cool, guys. You can also take off the lid. So that makes it easier for you to empty it out if you needed to. And one thing you, got, you guys got to know about these hot water boilers are, is that especially if you use like filter water from the tap, there's going to be mineral deposits. So you want to clean it out every few months using a citric like acid uh, powder. And you can actually buy one from this company, but you can go to any like, like Bed Bath Beyond or like a Japanese goods store and they'll sell those and you can also look online on YouTube There's a bunch of you know home remedies to get rid of the lime scale. That's what they call it But I fill it up. So let's put back the lid on And I'm gonna plug it in And once you plug it in It should automatically start um, Boiling the water so I'm not sure you guys can see it right here, but um, it's going to start boiling the water and it's by default it's set to 195 degrees, but you can change the temperature like 208 if you want hotter, but I like it at 175 and basically it's going to start warming, warming it up right now, but um, yeah, that's, that's it. And once it's ready, it's probably going to beep at, beep at you. And I mentioned that there's different models of, of this brand, even the ones made in Japan. And the main difference, I think the other one's the LWC40, I believe. It begins with L instead of a J. And the only difference between this one and the J one is that one has a more like panorama view for the water level meter. And it also makes a melody when the water is done. But if you don't care for that stuff, I recommend this one, the JW. C40, which is which literally just came out a few months ago in 2016. And even though this isn't, um, you know, see, you can see the temperature went to 70 degrees Fahrenheit now, so it's boiling, it's starting to boil. But, um, you know, I want to show you guys some of the features. But basically, what's cool is if you hit dispense, it won't work. You have to hit unlock first and then hit dispense to get water out. And you can also tell it to do like a slow pour. I believe by default, if you, once you press unlock, it's a slow pour. But then if you press unlock again and it's flashing, oh, that's the slow pour when it's flashing. When it's not flashing, it's the regular. So this is regular. But um, basically this is it, guys. And there's also a timer function. And basically what this does is you can add, put water in like maybe at night and say you know you're gonna sleep for eight hours. You can set a timer for like six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Either from goes from six to ten hours, you can set it for. And it won't boil the water until 
the time is up. So basically you're not keeping like warm like water throughout the night when you don't even need it. So that's a pretty neat feature guys. Anyways, I'll drop the links below with all the different like water boilers from this company that were made in Japan, which I highly recommend, the ones made in Japan. And um, yeah, that's it. And I'll, you know, talk more about this in the comments. If you guys have any questions or want to know more about it, you know, hit me up in the comments below. Otherwise, make sure you hit like on this video or subscribe if you haven't already to my channel. But thanks again, guys. And I'll check you guys in the next video.